Good morning <coughs> on this Sunday morning, uh, March 22nd, year 2020. Um, I don't know where you are, but where I am, I live in a HUD building in Schenectady, New York, that has seniors and disabled, and we're all in lockdown. We can't leave, we can't have anybody come in. Uh, they tried ordering my groceries for me online and the store told me told the people Monique who, who I gave the list to told her that the store was sold out So I hope that I can get groceries this week, but um, My sister went shopping at Price Chopper, which is a grocery store out where she lives in Clifton Park And she picked up my groceries and just handed them off to me at the front door. So building manager said that was okay to do but they don't want people who live here going to grocery stores where they'll be exposed to a lot of different people and maybe bring the virus back to Summit Tower because there's 184 apartments in this building and if people started getting it probably spread like wildfire they uh, they put up hand sanitizers on each floor where the uh, elevator is. They did that overnight. I couldn't believe how quickly they got that done, but we've got hand sanitizers at, on each floor where the elevator is. Um, so I've been puttering around with my train layout. I tore up the inner track and I relayed it out because there was a problem with the bypass track. Um, it was derailing. So I had to take all the screws out and reline it up and it seems to be working fine now. And I made a decision about what I'm gonna use for power and what I'm gonna do with my trains. Uh, I've been selling some of them to a local hobby shop called Mohawk Valley Railroad. And they give me about 50% of what I paid for them. So I'm taking a real licking. So if you think you can buy trains to invest in them, you're going to have to wait for the person looking for the item who's going to pay that price. Because if you just try selling it to a hobby shop or a dealer, they're going to give you about 50% of what it's worth. Because they have to make a profit too. So I decided to get rid of my bricks. Because I'm going to get rid of all my Lion G Plus that's going. And um, basically I'm going to have post-war MPC or... Uh, and some of the 80s, some of the 80s and 90s stuff, but not much. Um, because the plastic trucks on those with the cam in the motor, in the trucks, you know what I'm talking about, you experienced Lionel people. You unexperienced Lionel people, that's where they don't have the AC motor in the, in the body of it that the shell covers. They have little D DC cam motors in the trucks which are where the wheels are. There's B trucks and C trucks. B trucks have two axles, C trucks have three axles. And uh, I'm gonna keep some of those, but it says the problem with those is there's no brass bearings in it, so the plastic where the axle goes through can wear. So it may not hold up. So if you have those, use them gingerly, and you know, if you like them, keep them. Ones that work some nail probably. Some of those plastic truck with the cam motors are worth quite a bit. But anyways, when I decided to get back to where I was talking about, um, I decided to get rid of my bricks in my TMCC, and I went with this. I sold them, and I went with this. Um, this um, MRC Pure Power. I got it in focus. Let me see if I got it in focus. Oh boy. It's not easy being a YouTuber. There it is. It's the, it's the, uh, it's the MRC one. It's out of production, but it's 275, 200, 300, 275 watts, I believe. And um, it's pure sine wave, which is perfect for the post-war and the uh, MPC era stuff. But the electronics, you don't want to use it on. 
because the bell and the horn is not going to work properly. At least that's what the write-up says about it. So if you want the electronic stuff like Lion G Plus or the legacy stuff, you're going to have to get one with the chopped sine wave, which is the bricks or the power master, whichever you prefer to call them. So I'll give it a run and show you how I fix it so it doesn't derail on the inner loop. Now there's something wrong with the switch over there. It keeps on going to the inner track, so I, I don't know what's wrong. I got the insulated pin on the right one, but it's, there might be a short in the switch. I might have to tear it apart. But uh, I'll give it a run, and you'll hear my uh, maintenance away building with sound. Look, that's what that sound is. And uh, I got my Alexa on with some nice meditation music to uh, keep me calm. <laughs> while I'm isolated here in my apartment. We're not even supposed to go to each other's apartment. We're just supposed to stay here. So <laughs> I'm trying to keep myself occupied as I do a video. And I still owe you one for the for the Lion Chief uh, Blue Comet. That I'm going to keep. That I'm going to keep because I like that set. But the Lion Chief Plus is all going. So here we go. And that is a 1950 NW2. Let's see if I get your track level. Kind of a blur, huh? Let me see if I can slow it down a little. That's the bell ringer, that's from 1950. So I've definitely decided to keep all my post war, my MPC with the AC motors, and the electromagnetic, uh, or the solenoid reverse unit, I guess is a better way to say it. Uh, because they're repairable. And from what my repair guy Rich says, he says all this Lion Chief and uh, Lion Chief Plus, he says it's not going to last. The parts of the components are going to burn out. So we'll see what happens. My phone is ringing. And I'll have to say goodbye for now. So this is Andy's Toy Train. And just enjoy the hobby any way you can and keep yourself safe and virus free. And I, if you're isolated like me, I hope that uh, that uh, the spirits keep you content and occupied and not bored. And remember, if you got Alexa, you can always play meditation music because it's free and meditate. Or say some prayers if you like. Just remember all those first responders out there like truck drivers going between warehouses and grocery stores and Railroads bringing in cargo and all the essential things we need to uh, keep what we can of the economy going and what we can of business going. So just be grateful you don't have the virus and you're alive and hopefully all your loved ones are virus free and we'll all get through this, I'm sure. All right, bye-bye. Indie Space Trains.